So, Anna, tell me a little bit why you think that cities are an important site for anti-capitalist resistance. Well, I mean, cities are the site where everything politically, economically, uh, socially is going on, and they are the sort of acme of real estate speculative activity, which is at the pinnacle of the whole sort of casino economy at the moment. So by that token, if they're at the centre of it, they're also the site for resistance. And what have you seen in, in the housing crisis? What alternatives, what streams are coming out of it? And you've been doing a lot of research in London and looking at Barcelona as well, and, and the price of rental markets, how is this kind of affecting um, city responses on a policy level and maybe on a social movement level? Yeah, I mean, what happened here with the real estate speculative bubble here in Barcelona, you know, clearly got to such an extreme situation where so many millions of people were facing foreclosures then you had the birth of this incredibly strong social movement in Pa in response to that. What we're starting to see in London now is that the speculative bubble is excluding so many people from the housing market that we are starting to see a response to it as well. But it's, 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 it's less clear cut. It's much more fragmented. The sites of struggle are in so many different uh, 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 segments that it's quite hard to pull it together uh, in an overarching sense. But I mean, we ha we have so many we have so many diverse, really problematic things happening uh, in London. We've got you know completely unaffordable uh, property prices, excluding people from from buying properties. We've got rents where the majority, uh, uh, the average Londoner pays more than half their income on rents. Uh, according to uh, uh, various uh, uh, research reports, uh, psychiatric research reports, if you spend more than 30% of your income on rent, that can lead to mental health issues. I mean, we've got people sort of living in, you know, really dire accommodation. And the UK uh, traditionally has had this really strong um, public housing sector, which is a big contrast to Barcelona. Public housing accounted for a third of all housing, but that is systematically being sold off, privatised, reduced, and people are basically being uh, moved out of the private uh, public sector into the private sector, into this world of ever spiralling uh, rents, which is creating uh, a, a social catastrophe that we haven't even really begun to see the results of, but we're going to over the next few years.